Major, I'm on the roof of the dam. The Citadel's been overrun. I repeat, the Citadel's been overrun. The whole situation's foobar. No survivors. Hold on. No. There's no way. Leave.
Nice one, kid. You already put that shit hawk in a fucking coma. Major! Major! That's hard to believe. I didn't think leave could get any nastier than he already was. Come on, we need to get out of here. The dam's gonna blow. Right, we better hurry. Hayden! Uh, uh, Raven, go get out of here! Uh, uh, no. I won't leave another man behind. Not like this. Motherfucker! Not today, kid. Not today. You've already risked your life far too many times. This time, only one of us is walking away from here alive. The truth is undeniable. Fortune favors the bold. I accomplished my mission at the first light of dawn, and for once in my existence, the best plan was to not have a plan. did you? Where? Oh no. Sorry to disappoint you, kid. I guess the great Sandman ain't so great after all. But after all of the lies lost, at least I managed to save one. What's going on? By all rights, you should be dead. And you're not. Wait. What? Did that to you? That fucking guy! Don't touch me! Stay away! Leave! He turned me into this freak! The antidote! I need it now! This? Give it to me now! You alright? Did it work? You bastard! You remember me? You... You mass-murdering piece of shit! I will never forgive you for taking her away from me! What? What the hell are you? Drop your gun right now! You fucker! You killed her! Why?! What did my baby ever do to you?! Hey, whoa. Whoa, calm down. Too many people have died already. Why don't you drop the weapon so we can talk about it? Whatever happened, it's over. It's over. No! It's not over. Not by a long shot. Not until this... this guy pays for what he did to her. Listen, listen. I don't know you, sir. But you can trust me when I say the man who did all this is dead. The Major's a hero. He risked his life. He risked his life? Huh? For what? To murder tens of people? Including my wife? Huh? I was there, soldier boy. I saw what he did to her. My baby. Now, I suggest you get the fuck out of my way, or you can go to hell with them! I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Drop your weapon, or I'm gonna shoot you where you stand. No matter what you think you saw. Stand down, Raven. Go stand down. It's you, isn't it? Samuel. How do you know my name? Because I know more than what you think. But the only thing you really need to know is that I'm truly sorry. I never meant to hurt her. Not intentionally. Your wife, she was one of the few people I could really count on to. What's that supposed to mean, huh? Huh? Who, who are you people? He's the one who ripped my arm off and broke my neck, baby. While you just stood by and watched me die. No, that's not what happened. That's not how... That's not... She's dead! Sam, baby. Are we really gonna argue over semantics? <laughs> just look at yourself. 
You're nothing but a frightened lab rat. Shut up! That's all you want! Shut That's up! That's all you ever want! Shut the fuck up! Just shut your mouth! Sam Hillai! Stop! Just don't say another goddamn word! These people know everything about you. Find it, Samuel! They used you for their advantage. No! They this isn't them. real! You She's dead! Don't listen to this her, Samuel! This is the moment you were born! Damn it! The voice isn't Sarah! up the register. Ready to receive. Mission report K731. Personal code FG9565061. Mission status completed. The material requested has been recovered. Of those involved, there's no one left. At least no one who knows what's really going on. I erased all traces of Kay's involvement. Hexacor Biogenetics will be blamed and held accountable for the mishap in keen sight. Good job, sir. Person, but I'm afraid that's just not gonna happen. So this is it. The moment has arrived. You know, I told you that I'd do whatever it takes to protect her, and now I gotta prove just that. Prove it to myself, to you, but mostly prove it to her, my precious little angel, Samantha. In exactly seven days, my man and I will be deployed to the Aegis Labs to recover samples of Castor and Pollux. After which, you know what I have to do. Oh, I know what you're thinking right now. I know. So many innocent lives lost to save just one. But she's my baby girl. So listen up. I want you to leave Keen Sight, you and your Samuel, and get as far away from the city as possible. The gears of destruction are already in motion, and nobody can stop them now. And even if they could, I wouldn't let them. So, if one day my conscience does feel a little less guilty, it'll only be because I've not only saved my daughter's life, but yours as well. I know you know what it means to truly love someone with every fiber of your being. And the choices you gotta make to hold on to that love, to be with that person and share one last day, one last minute, one last tantalizing second. 
couldn't live with myself knowing that I didn't step up and do something. Even if it means burning in hell for eternity. <sighs> that should come easy compared to a living hell without her. Hope one day you can forgive me. But if you can't, saving Samantha will be enough. Number three, Sarah Carmichael's recording to Sam Walker. Sam, sweetheart, I've been waiting for this day to come, wishing I didn't have to tell you the things you're about to hear. Yet, here goes nothing. The more elaborate the lie especially one as grandiose and brazen as this, the more difficult it becomes to explain. I should have waited for you to come home, to speak with you in person, but I just can't do anything but record this. You won't be home before dark, by which time it'll probably be too late. There's a good chance they'll come here looking for me. <laughs> they... I guess you're wondering who I'm talking about. What I'm about to say will change your life forever. Change my life, too. What's happening, one way or another, was inevitable. But at the cost of many thousands of lives, it will also mean the end of our relationship. Listen to me. By now, all of Keen's sight is lost. He... He did it. He infected the whole goddamn town, sentencing the people here to a fate worse than death. He committed a truly unforgivable sin. The last hope for a crazy man being puppeted by even crazier people. The Kuronosu Company. I still don't understand how he could have done it, how anyone could have done it, even him, especially him. God damn you, Kuronosu! Hexacore! Damn you both to hell! Oh, Christ! We're just a bunch of filthy murderers. All of us. Sam, listen. What I wanted to say, if I wasn't a coward, is that even though I've always loved you, I've never been completely honest with you. Beneath this city, behind your disease, lies a tangled web of secrets linked to the company. I would have told you sooner rather than being obliged by this tragedy, but I couldn't and wasn't ready yet. I was afraid of how it might affect us. Sorry. 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 It kills me to tell you this, but I'm not who you think I am. You already know that I work for Hexacore, but what you don't know is that my job isn't limited to mere administration. My field of expertise is actually the supervision of research studies, monitoring one of our most important tests, you. For decades now, our government has been experimenting in its own backyard, testing chemical weapons on an unsuspecting America. The project is called Truman, and Keen Sight is one of the most illustrious testing zones, with Hexacore overseeing the whole shebang since the 40s. You, and hundreds of others like you, are the end result of these tests. And we've been tasked with keeping you in check and gleaning as much data as possible about your condition. I can attest, however, that it took very little effort for you to become the most important part for me. Because... Because I actually fell in love with you. And it wasn't just a job for me anymore. So when someone asks if I love my work, I tell them, yes. Thanks to you, I do. And maybe that's why I've never had the courage to tell you before. And more importantly, 
I would never leave this place without you, of my own free will, if given the choice. Hold on. I hear something. There... There's somebody out there. Evidence number four, ID tags of Sarah Carmichael, Hexacore Biogenetic Supervisor, code 27.